your founding fathers sanctioned lying to promote their belief. So, lying is sanctioned by Christianity as long as it's to promote Christianity. No, that's a very big generalisation because Eusebius said this thing. Paul said it. I'm not equipped to no, answer but, that. No, but, once, but once, don't you get the point that once one man has conceded that he he thinks it's okay to lie? Yeah, but you can't. Uh, I, I'm not equipped. No, no, to I, tell I get that. I'm, why, I'm not going different. One comment, what Paul said. Yeah, no. Of why no, no, no. What, an hour no, no, no. What I'm saying to you is this. Paul, because I'm sure it makes. When well, you got all the church fathers there, and you got all the all the manuscripts there, and you got all the no. But don't you think it's a problem? These but, things no, but don't you think? No, but don't you think it's never a problem? Don't you think it's a problem? If Paul They're never disputed no, no. Paul and thought no. No, but don't you think it's a problem if you have a man called Paul who admits to lying? How can you take what he says seriously? Again, you're asking me something very and, deep. And you know, you're not, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll go deeper. And I'll go deeper. I'll go deeper. It goes deeper than that. And then you read his letters to Galatians and such, and he's arguing against the apostles of Jesus. Yeah. He's, he's telling people don't listen to them and saying things contrary to them. So you've got a man who's admitted to lying, and all of a sudden he's going against the teachings of Jesus. And yet, you look at the doctrine of Christianity, it emanates from him.